Upgrades. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? It's the same leg here representing Team JVS here to give you guys another review for Black History Month. This is going to be a television series, and it's one that pretty much all of us know and love. Um, it is an insanely crazy cast, but iconic in and of itself from an animation standpoint, especially for black animation. I'm talking about the Boondocks. So the Boondocks was developed by Aaron McGruber. Um, he initially in 1989, roughly, um, worked on the comic strip that started to swell through all the different newspapers. And then eventually, you know, they kind of took, I think the pilot to Fox. They were kind of having difficulty getting it established. And then eventually they made their home on Cartoon Network and Cartoon Network allowed it to slate to be 15 episodes straight. And now we have, of course, the Boondocks. Boondocks went through four seasons. It went from 2005 to 2014, believe it or not. Um, but the cast, um, Regina King playing the role of Riley and Huey. John Witherspoon playing the role of Grandpa or Granddad. Um, Gary Anthony Williams playing the role of Uncle Ruckus. Um, this is a huge cast. I mean, you got Charlie Murphy, Eddie Murphy's brother in this, and a slew of other actors that's gone through. I mean, Uncle Winsler, I mean, God rest his soul. Same thing for Charlie Murphy. He played the role of Ed Runsler. But, um, Basically, Huey and Riley are two brothers that live with their grandpa. I don't think that they've ever established kind of what happened with their parents, but they live with their grandpa. Riley is the anarchist and he's out there in these streets and doing what he wants to do. He calls and so calls himself a, a gangster. And Huey is the revolutionary, like he is the intellectual. He's very gifted and talented in martial arts and in electronics and everything else. But he speaks his mind no matter what. This animation was before its time because it's so unapologetically itself. I think that honestly, and people wouldn't make the comparison, but I think for shows like Rick and Morty to really truly succeed, I think that something like the boondocks had to be created and i think the thing about the boondocks is that it sometimes plays off like parodies i mean you have certain moments in actual history that happen that they play and make fun of but then they take a different spin on it like the kid that was out there driving his mother's car smoking cigarettes and getting into trouble like they use that as a michael myers like trope um you know when what's, a, what's another really good one um, when they did the nativity story, the black nativity story, and kind of how they did the concept behind that. Like, there's certain episodes that are just so iconic, but every single character were given their due. We have a character like Uncle Ruckus, right? Um, Uncle Ruckus is a self loathing black man that is certifiably racist to his own people and just doesn't care. And, you know. <laughs> It's, it's ridiculous in and of itself, but it's so unapologetically what it is that Gary is able to just be who he wanted to be. John Witherspoon is a legend, but him as a granddad is so dope. It is so hilarious. Um, not just because, you know, he's always threatening Riley or getting on their case with whips and stuff like that, but granddad is a very flawed individual. Like, he wants love. Like, he you know, wants the good life. He wants money and uh, he puts himself in precarious situations all the time. Then you got like a character like Tom by Cedric. Uh, Tom is this hopeless romantic good guy, black dude. He's married to his white wife and um, he all the time puts himself in terrible situations because he's so nice. And it's just amazing how they handle and organize all the different characters. But Regina King is the highlight. She embodies both of those characters. I mean, I think initially when it first started, I think she was playing Huey and somebody else was playing Riley, but I think eventually, it may have been back as that, I apologize if I got that wrong. She ended up playing both. And she does it so well and so, like it, it 
it was iconic. I mean, a ninja moment <laughs> is an iconic saying. Like, you gonna pay what you owe, Santa. Like, um, the episode with them selling cookies, not cookies, the candy, the candy selling, like, <laughs> the way they went and handled that like a Scarface, it was epic. Um, I remember when that first came on and, you know, the first episode, I was kind of like, man, they just went right in your face, but they continued to allow the story to kind of progress and allow the characters to breathe. The only thing that the last season, it was kind of like, it didn't feel necessarily rushed, but it felt like it was thrown and kind of out of nowhere. Um, but besides that, it's still very much so, so iconic. And I think it's so rooted into um, and ingrained into what we remember about certain segments in time, like Robert being like a revolutionary in his time. Um, but yet he wasn't because he didn't sit down on the bus. Um, the Luther, like when he tried to go and have his own business and he was fine. Like, these are things that people want to aspire to. Like you had that uncle, you had that grandpa, you had that person that wants to do that. And then Riley and Huey played the other sides. Like <laughs> one is a certain kind of way, the other one's like the conscience. And it's it's awesome to kind of see how they go and they feud each other and um, they deal with the world around them. And I think the thing about it is the show always depicts, you know, how things really truly are. But they don't go down this, you know, racist, um, you know, tortured, like, oh, woe is me being black. Like, it's never been about that. Never was. And even when, you know, things would be sus in terms of how people are treated or how we're treated, they'd always go to the intellectual side or they would play it off of that. And it's just such a great show, man. Like, it is, it is comic gold. Like, it is iconic. Like, it is as iconic as the Dave Chappelle show is, to be quite honest with you. But I think that... I don't know if we'll ever get something to this level ever again. Um, especially with how things are in our climate. Um, I think that there's stretches for other shows, like I said, like a Rick and Morty, to be able to do stuff like this. But for us, and ingrained and connected to us, this was iconic. And I think that they tried to revamp it, but unfortunately the passing of John Witherspoon, um, Ed, Charlie, Charlie Murphy, um, the specifically, I think John like derailed any kind of chances of that. Um, it may come back. I'm not really sure, but at the time that it gave us, like it'll always be remembered. So if you've never seen the boondocks, highly recommend you go and check it out. But for black history month, I, it would, I, I could not, mention it. I got a lot more stuff to go and talk about and mention, but this is my selection for today. What I'm going to try to do is do a movie and do a show. Do a movie, do a show, and uh, hopefully you guys do appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, have a great weekend. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't going to stop. Peace. Filing out the top of